Well, this is an evening of new contemporary dance. With four different choreographers. I'm working on the project right now with uh, Rob McNeil. So, my name is Mulelo Ndabeni. The project is called 1898, and the pieces are meant to reflect the year that the Coronet was built. So, there's going to be already different ideas. And even though we're taking the year 1898, um, but we, we, we're twisting things, we're playing with things. So, it'll be quite interesting for the audience when they come to see what the ideas that we've taken, what we've done with it and how, how we found a different window to look into the past. My influence for the piece has been Sarah Bernard, the French actress, and uh, the world of Art Nouveau, the world of Expressionism, the world of artistic freedom at that time. I wondered how did this building survive from 1898 to 2015? Who loved it? Who's restored it? Who's kept it alive and living um, right up to 2015. The first production that was performed um, in the theatre was The Geisha. I am taking essence of The Geisha or how it feels to be behind a mask or how, how it feels not to reveal yourself. I'll take um, that as a, as a start, as a base, but then I don't want to be stuck in 1898 because I don't live in 1898. I live today. It's going to be called Absent. An Absent, um, sort of I'm playing with the drink which is Absinthe and uh, the word absent and it's more the play of absent the person is absent it's more playing with the metaphysical sort of terms of who is uh, when person becomes schizophrenic who is uh, it's about duality it's about all these things that just triggered by one drink it's always fun coming to the print room it's always a different experience so it's gonna be exciting for sure and it's new and um, and this young fresh talent that's coming up and it's the first time that the new print room is going to be for uh, presenting dance, which is it's in a new space. So that's pretty exciting as well. People should come and see it. Yeah, yeah. If they like dance, they like theatre, they like uh, films, they like, you know, different cultures, different ways of moving, different languages, there's something for everybody. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a sort of a living work of art.